Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. And right before we get into the quick tip, I want to remind you that the brand new I Shoot Raw denim shirt is now in store, or it's in the store, it's in stock. And it's not a denim shirt, it's still cotton, but it's the denim color I Shoot Raw that you guys asked for after you saw me wearing the one that I have. So it's in the store, check out store.fronosphoto.com. Now on to your quick tip. So here we go, it's your quick tip time. And what is the quick tip for this week? Well, I wanna tell you that you should be able to get the proper exposure in three photos. That's right, three shots, not even looking at the meter, only looking at the screen, which I know breaks a lot of the rules that a lot of people talk about, but I want you to feel comfortable with understanding what light is and how to make changes based on what happens in the light. Is it bright, is it dark, do you need a fast ISO, sorry, a high ISO, a fast shutter, open the aperture, what do you need to do? So. As an experiment, I'm gonna take three photos. I'm gonna shoot RAW plus JPEG. I'm gonna let you see what the exports look like as I take them so that you can see that I'm going to get the proper exposure out here without even looking at the meter. And I know that the back of the screen isn't the best representation, but I wanna tell you that if you get it very, very close to looking good on here and you're shooting RAW, well then you're gonna be better off when you get it into the computer because that's really what it's all about, is trying to understand lighting. Now I know that, you know, I say this all the time too, that if you get, let's say, if you don't understand your exposures and you have the wrong exposure, but you captured the moment, that's all I care about. I, I, I care about the moment being captured. But in this case, for this scenario, we're gonna guess it. We're gonna get, guess the first shot, then from there determine what we should do to the shot, take another one and then determine from there. And by the third one, we should have the proper exposure, at least based on the screen, without looking at the meter. The reason I do this is because I want you to not even worry about the meter for, this, for the time being, because I think if you understand lighting and what to do based on the lighting situation, then you can fully understand what the meter does and use it to your advantage. So let's take a couple of test shots. We'll just shoot down this way into the park and pass the camera. Uh, so we've got a Nikon D3200, doesn't really matter what we have. I'm just gonna pick some settings. Right now, 400 ISO, 1 60th of a second, F2.2. And here we go, let's take a shot, boom. And as we look at it, it is really, really bright. Now, what do we need to do when the image is bright? What do we need to do? You could drop your ISO. We could speed up our shutter speed. We could cut down on the amount of light. So what I want to do here, being that I was at f, uh, sorry, 2.2, f2.2, I want to bump the aperture higher. We're going to go to, say, f5. Let's go to f5. That's going to cut back on the amount of light going in. Let's take this picture. Boom. Let's look at it again. And that's pretty darn close. So within two shots, we've already gotten the exposure basically right on. So I'm just gonna look at it a little more, see what I need to do with it. There's not much I need to do with it because it pretty much looks like I want it to look like in two shots. So what this is all telling us is that you should take a test picture, guess the settings, I don't care whatever they are, and then based on what those settings are, figure out what you need to do next. It's really a game of cause and effect. Just guess it, then determine what you need to do, take a picture, if you need to guess it again or you need to tweak it again to get to that third shot where I said you should get it right by, well then go ahead and do that. Now I did all this without even setting up before and testing out what the image looked like because I just wanted to guess the settings. So that's a quick tip. Just guess the settings, then look at the picture, determine what you need to do to get the proper exposure and you should be able to get the proper exposure in three shots. There you have it, that's a quick tip. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya. So here's some bonus content for you. Now I know some of you out there are saying, did I just say don't use the meter ever? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm trying to get through is that you should be able to understand lighting and that within three photos, without ever looking at a meter, you should be able to get your exposure damn close. Now I like to get my exposure pretty close, but what I was trying to explain earlier in the video is that what I find to be the most important thing in an image is making sure that you captured a moment. Sure, sharpness is very important. Focus is the same thing, that's important as well. Exposure is definitely important, but when you're first starting out, if you can see the moment and capture it, then I don't worry too much about the exposure being wrong because I go back to when I first started shooting hockey with film with a Canon EOS Elan and a very slow 100 to 305.6, and I was taking pictures, and they were dark as could be, 
but the moment was captured. You could see that there was something there, that the, sh that the moments, the times that I pressed the shutter were the right times. And nowadays with the RAW file, I'm going to show you just as an example here, the first picture that I took where the exposure is just off, that we're going to bring it back. And that's what I'm trying to get across to you, that if your exposures are close or that you're guessing the settings and you start to understand what lighting should be, the cause and effect to get to where you could get to an image within three shots, which I did it within two in this uh, test, that you know, if you're darn close, if you get it darn close and you're shooting raw, you can bring it back. I don't expect everybody to be perfect and I don't even get my exposures perfect every time, but I get them damn close and that's what it's about. I worry about capturing that moment and then I tweak this raw file just like I did with my film in the darkroom to to print the image the way that I would want to print it. Don't forget photography doesn't stop when you press that button. Most, not most, but part of your style is formulated in the way that you deliver your product. The way that you develop your image. That's why I don't give somebody else my images to edit. That's why I try not to overshoot and have to edit 8 million pictures. Because I'm the one who edits them. It's my style behind the image and I don't want somebody else trying to process my shots because you may process your shots differently than I process my shots and you know what? Clients are coming to me because of my style. Yes, I punch my black and whites up and I make them extremely punchy and contrasty and I clip my black levels, but you know what? I've been doing that since college and actually since high school, pumping the contrast because that's my style. That's what works for me. That may not work for you, but whatever works for you, works for you. So now, Let's go in and look at this raw file and just show you that it was off. It was just off. Look at it. It's bright. It's gone. Sure, the camera looks okay right here, but it's not as good as it could be. But I just want to drag the exposure back and go look at that. Voila. You have a raw file. You just made an image really good. There you have it. There's the second shot that I took right there. There's the first shot that I took, and even if I wanted to just tweak it even more, make it more warm, there we go, it's more warm. Do we want the shadows, do we want the, the camera to come out a little bit more? Look, it just came out. Boom. Some black levels. Boom. And let's just tweak the exposure just a little bit more. It was overcast. That's where it started. That's where it finished. And I'm just making the point that, look, get your exposures close but capture that moment that is really important. Worry about capturing that moment. You're going to discover how to understand light as you become a better photographer. And the more you shoot, the better you're going to get. And this just shows you that you can take that file that we just guessed the settings for the first time and still save it. So if you worry about getting the right composition and you worry about capturing that moment, exposure is going to follow along. Just play the game of guessing the exposure. Don't worry too much about the meter. I'm sure, sure it's very important to understand it, but I'm just getting the, the point across it. Look, you can be your own light meter. You can tweak it whichever way that you want because you get it. Understand the light, then you can use the meter, the spot meter, and all of these things to try to tweak your images in the camera from there. But remember, you can shoot raw, get it close, and we can bring it back. There you have it. I'm just going to sign off again. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.